Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan, and in this Blender tutorial, we are going to create a hard surface asset. So, without further ado, let's get started. To make the model, we need to add the cylinder. So, Shift A, add the cylinder, and we will go with the three words. Then, you need to adjust the scale of the cylinder along the z axis. That's like this. Then, you need to go to the edit mode and then select these edges with the Shift Alt Select and then Ctrl B and then add a bevel on these edges. Here you need to add the 4 segment bevel and give the right bevel width. Then you can select the top and bottom faces and then use the insert operation add there. Then you need to apply the scale on the model. So Ctrl A and then apply the scale. After that you need to select the words and then right click connect vertex path and create a path in between the words as like this. Then you need to select these words and then right click connect vertex path. After that you need to add the loop cuts like this. So just add few loop cuts at here. Then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the z axis. Then just you need to select the center faces and then use the insert operation add there. As like this. And make sure your individual origin should not be on at that time. After that you need to use the loop tool and then circle option to convert these faces into the circular shape. Then just use the insert operation one more time. Here also I want to create a few more boolean details so that's why I need to select these faces. And then you need to use the insert operation add there and then use the loop tool and then circle option. Make sure your individual origin should be on so you can scale them along their individual origin. All you need to just use the rotation tool and then rotate it. So we will get a decent edge to add there. Then you can select these edges and then Ctrl X to resolve these edges. Then just select these faces and then use the insert operation one more time. With the help of these faces, you can create easily boolean details at there. Now just need to add one loop cut at there. Then select these face loops with the shift select and then scale these face loops along the x and y axis. I just want to create the taper form at here so that's why I need to scale them. Then you can adjust the position of the words at here. And now you can see that looks really well. Then you can select everything and then mesh and then take the symmetry along the z axis. Now I'm going to select this edge loops. So with the shift select, select this edge loops. After that just you need to use the control B and then add a bevel at there and give it a small bevel. Then just you need to use the insert operation at there. After that you need to use just extrude along the normal. So just extrude it and give the small offset amount. Then you can add the support loop cuts like this to maintain the good form on the model. Then just add the center loop cuts like this and then select these words right click connect vertex path and then you can select these edges and then control x to dissolve them. Same thing you need to repeat with the remaining. Then you can use the knife tool at here to avoid those n gons and to maintain the good topology on the model. Then select this edge loop and then Ctrl X to dissolve this edge loop. And then select this face and then use the loop tool and then circle option and just rotate it a little bit. Then you can use the insert operation add there and you can create a little bit of details. Then just you need to add few more loop cuts on the model to maintain the good form. Then select these faces and then create a boolean details at there. Use the insert operation and then extrude operation and easily you can create the details. Then you can select these faces and then merge these faces at the center. Then all you need to do just add the sub-D modifier and shear smooth it. Increase the sub-D count up to 2 and you will get the decent design at here. Now the remaining process is very easy. I will add few more details on the model and I will add few more loop cuts and I will try to create a decent design out of it so you can watch the process.
you can see the model it looks decent we have got the decent form decent design and which looks really well so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel bye bye so next video take care